and welcome to this fun and exciting video full of cuteness overload, tiny little things, preparations, organizations, sh -sh 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 whatsoever. But before that, let me introduce myself. For those who don't know me, my name is Dine. I'm a proud Filipina Cebuana who's residing in New Zealand with my husband for about six years now. We are both nurses. We got married in 2019. And now we are preparing for the biggest gift of our lives. The reason why we have this video and why we're so hyped up is because we are going to be first time parents. We are having a baby! Humbug humbug our bomb. Hang on. Let's show you. Here we go. So we don't know 100% baby's gender. We think it's a boy. But sometimes I still think it's a girl. I don't know. But we'll wait until baby's out. Just to add a little element of surprise. Of hey. <laughs> so we are actually 30 weeks pregnant now and I have set that marking to be the start of my nesting period where I have <laughs> I am reasonably allowed to prepare, to organize, declutter, you know, be ready before baby comes out. You might say it's too early. I don't really know. I'm a first time mom, so forgive me and I want to do it anyway. Aside from that, just FYI, um, I actually have a pelvic issue wherein it um, it affects my mobility so it's pregnancy related it causes pain in my groin and in my front area I can't walk that much um, can, can move around that much I need to use the crutches so I think starting at 30 weeks will really give me ample time to do the things slowly but surely especially if hubby is not around also I have set my goal to be ready before 37 weeks hopefully baby doesn't come out before Anna and a time fingers crossed so i have planned it all out i made this weekly to-do list from week 30 until week 36 hopefully i'll be able to do all of them of course with the help of my husband my sister my friends so let's get started Ever since I knew I was pregnant, I already started to do some research because of course, excited, first time mom. So I read books, I watch tons of vlogs, and I really learned a lot. So I started to write down, list down all the things that baby would need. Essentials lang, what's needed, necessity, kung unsa lang yung importante. I'll show you the list. So that's the list. But then when time came, as time passed by, people started giving us hand-me-downs new stuff for baby and we're just so grateful because we need not to buy too much anymore we receive clothes in different sizes pram, crib, cot mattress, protectors, sheets um, we've got a cradle, we've got a bassinet my sister gave us a car seat that's good until 10 years old it's just amazing. Almost all the essentials are already covered. Thank you so much, guys. So, on this 30th week, we ought to start with buying whatever's lacking. And we figured that we just need diapers, wipes, shampoo, mga consumables. So, we are starting with that this week. Um, I'm just ordering online because it's more convenient for me and have it delivered here at home. Now that it's all complete, so we can now proceed with the next steps. Now we'll proceed with laundrying. So I'll be washing the blankets, swaddles, wraps, and then the clothes. Old ones first and the new ones. 
and then for the next two weeks we will also be cleaning and disinfecting where I'm going to be putting all these things which I decided in my mother like cubby hole or storages, storage boxes so we'll get there anyway in the next few weeks We have washed the laundry by batches. It actually takes quite a while for the laundry to dry up because we have no dryer. But Wellington's weather has been cooperative in the past few days. It's been sunny, so that's really helpful. Now you can see I'm already folding the dried laundry, separating them by blankets, sheets, etc. And the baby's clothes according to sizes. After which, I will be keeping it in the disinfected hamper just to be safe and clean so I won't be putting it yet in the cubby holes or the storage boxes because the baby's corner is not yet ready but in case I need anything for the next preparations in the next few weeks then I'll be able to get it there so now we will be disinfecting those storage boxes that actually go in there so we will disinfect those loaves as well. That will serve as baby's drawers for baby's clothes, stuff, whatever. Because I don't want to be buying new drawers. I've already had those two for quite a while and I just want to make use of whatever we have. Let's be practical. Let's start! So this is actually just an initial way of cleaning it. It's a long method. After which maybe when it's all dried up, we can start using the spray that could help it sanitize more or disinfect more. And then it's good to go. So now I've placed it outside for drying. You can do air dry, but I'm doing a sun dry since the sun's out. And the sun dry is actually, um, more helpful in killing bacteria so that's it after drying i'll be using this novak foaming sanitizer and deodorizer it's safe for both carpets and fabrics and then we can have it dried again after spraying and then it's good to go Also had a bit of help from my sister in wiping those shelves and disinfecting them because the struggle is real. And that's it! We're done with our first nesting video. There's more to come, more cuteness overload to chase up, hospital bags, diaper bags, baby's room or baby's nursery, baby's corner, um, to install the car seat capsules, whatever and everything else so i hope you will still be joining me in the next one thank you so much for watching once again this is nine i'll see you in the next video with more tales to tell bye